So we have done several of these design problems in class, but none of them have a, had a constant voltage. Constant voltage is simpler than doing um, designs with variables. So I'm going to do a whole design question uh, here online so that it's um, clear how to add the, the constant voltage. But when you have a function um, like this with three variables, the ones that have a minus in front, the minus 2a and minus 0.4c are ready to go into a semi-amplifier because if I multiply a by 2 in a semi-amplifier, it's going to be minus 2. It's going to invert it. The only one that I need to prepare beforehand is the 3b. So I'm going to multiply, I'm going to use that, an inverting amplifier, multiply b by minus 3 and then by minus 1. And the 35 volts is the constant. So this function is all of that plus 35 volts. And I'll add the 35 volts to the inverting amplifier as a minus 35. Um, because it is a constant voltage, it's like a power supply that we have control over. So we could uh, ground the positive side and just add uh, the 35 volts to the last one. So let me, let me first do the B. So There are no constraints on resistors, which is awesome and easier. So I'm going to put a 3K here and a 1K here. And if I put a B signal in there, out comes minus 3B. And from here on, whatever resistor I put on the RF there, I'm going to put there too. This is going to be my second amplifier. So as you see, we're only allowed two up amps. So, and then I want to multiply a by 2, so this one a by minus 2, sorry. And I want to multiply c by 0.4. And then um, I want to put a 35 there, but whatever resistor I put on the RF, I'm also going to put here. And the 35 is going to be like this. So the positive side of that power supply is going to go to ground so that I have these 35 volts coming into here as minus 35. So I guess that's it. <laughs> that's um, all that I wanted to say. So if I choose a resistor here. This same resistor will be here. The same resistor will be here. And then A, it's going to be R because I want uh, 2. I want to be, it's R over 2. And then this guy here, it's R over 0.4. So it's going to be larger than R. So whatever resistor you pick, if it's 1K, it's 1, 1K, 1K, 1K. 1 divided by 2, it's 500 ohms, and this is 1 divided by 0.4, uh, which is larger than 1 kilo ohms, like 1.4 kilo ohms, actually a little bit, yeah, different than that. But hopefully this makes sense, um, that this would yield this function here, the function of A, B, C. Please post in the comments if you still have questions about, particularly the 35 how this comes out here is 35 because here it's minus 35.